Hey, good morning, YouTube. Are you ready for a potential silver squeeze? All right, so checking out the markets this morning, right? About 8 a.m. East Coast time. Silver was up about uh, 5 cents over yesterday's close. Not much, but as we got closer to 9 a.m., I saw silver get up uh, about $1.40 over yesterday's close, a little more than 6%, right? So it started knocking on the $28 range. Well, as of right now, it's kind of pulled back. Silver is kind of pulling back a little bit. I see it up about 79 cents from yesterday's close. I see a spot bid price right now of $26.38. Um, still, this is, uh, you know, it's interesting. It's fun. It's uh, cool to watch. And I do believe it has a lot to do with what we're seeing in the market right now. And a lot of discussion on some of these forums, such as the subreddit boards, about uh, how silver has been, you know, forced down and manipulated by the big banks, right? There's a big push out there for the little guy to kind of make things right with the big banks and their manipulation to hold certain assets, certain stocks down. Unless you've been living under a rock, you probably heard about GameStop. GameStop was trading uh, for about $3 around about two weeks ago. It was the most heavily shorted stock on the uh, New York Stock Exchange. Of course, a shorted stock is a stock that somebody actually sells, right? And then they have to buy it back, hopefully at a lower price, and then they kind of capitalize on that difference, right? Big banks do this with industries like GameStop, which is you know, in my opinion, sort of headed the way of Blockbuster Video. It's, uh, you know, the brick and mortar retail segment has, has been hit pretty hard this year. And video games, especially for you younger guys and girls out there watching that probably still play a lot of video games, you know you could just download the stuff straight from the cloud, right? You can log into your Xbox or PlayStation, your Steam account, and download games. You no longer have to walk into a brick and mortar store to buy. And some of that hype is now moving into silver. Of course, there was also some good news coming out of Mexico today. Speaking of Mexico, for First Majestic Silver. First Majestic Silver did win a court case in a court in Mexico, which uh, is going to result in some favorable tax situations for that company, which has share prices of First Majestic, Majestic Silver up. And there's also talk on the Reddit boards about... Uh, you know, guys pumping money into silver, trying to get silver up where it should be, right? We all know that silver has been vastly held down by the big banks. So a lot going on, all right? So let's go ahead and get started. I did get a capsule here for my two-ounce Libertad. If you saw a video a few weeks back, I did um, grab a two-ounce silver Libertad. That was a gift from a subscriber, a very amazing gift. Uh, very thankful to you for sending this in. You know who you are, and you've uh, asked to remain anonymous, and I will respect that. This is the only two-ounce silver uh, Libertad that I currently have. So I wanted to go ahead and get a capsule for it so I can keep it safe, um, as I don't intend to treat this coin in particularly like a you know standard bullion coin, right? These Libertads, let's just, let's just put it this way. These are kind of my guilty pleasure when it comes to silver, all right? Really love these Libertads. The design... Uh, the history, uh, the size of the coin, uh, just the, the overall color of the silver, the quality. Typically don't see very many issues with these Libertads. So got a nice capsule here. Let's go ahead and find the little white dot, right? The little white dot so we can line this coin up properly. Ah, there it is. Okay, so what I do when I'm putting these coins in capsules is I find that little white dot and I put it directly at the bottom of the coin. So I'm going to go ahead and put the coin in the capsule. And then we'll go ahead and find the bottom here and line that up with that little white dot, right? And once we have it uh, adjusted just right, we'll go ahead and squeeze it down. So there you go. It looks like the capsule is a little large. That's unfortunate. All right. I might have made a mistake here ordering this one. I did get this uh, off of eBay uh, to capture some of those 8% eBay bucks, but it does look like the capsule is just a little bit large. So I'm going to have to go back to the drawing board on this because this is going to drive me nuts. So, but for now, there you go. We've got a Mexican Libertad, two ounce in a capsule. And another great thing about stacking silver besides, well, I'll tell you, let me just, let me just start right here. In my opinion, the best thing about stacking silver is that you're building a good habit. You're building a habit of saving, right? When you do it the steady state way, the way that I'm doing it, when you don't just go out and you know, buy a thousand ounces, throw it in the closet, forget about it, move on to the next best thing, 
watching your reruns of uh, Game of Thrones and Dexter and forgetting all about your silver. Okay, that's one way to do it. But the way I like to do it, because I'm a silver fanatic, right? I'm a bullion fanatic, is I like to do about four ounces per week. Hi-ho silver, right? Four ounces per week. And so we got our first 2021 one ounce Silver American Eagles in the mail. Also did, I think, pick up one more of the 2020s and I'll, yep, there it is, the 2020. We'll go ahead and get these open and I'll explain why there is one 2020 uh, on this order. And also kind of update you on uh, the order that actually I placed before this one. So I did order nine 2020 American Silver Eagles uh, that have been lost in the mail. Now, they were returned back to Atmex. I ordered them through One Gold, which are shipped from Atmex in Oklahoma City. Uh, something happened in the mail, and they ended up being returned to Atmex. I'm actually working with One Gold and Atmex right now to get those nine ounces, those nine 2020 American Silver Eagles mailed back to me so I can get them here. But if we count here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, right? So I've got ten, and these are all... 2020 American Silver Eagles in this tube. Trying to close out another tube. So when you add nine to that, that's 19, which is the reason. And we'll go ahead and start with our 2020. Because I'm trying to do tubes. That's what I really like to do here on this channel. I like to buy, you know, a couple of empty tubes like this one here, which we're going to start a tube of 2021s on. And then over a period of, uh, of weeks, uh, I purchase silver. And I fill those tubes up. And it adds up, right, over time. And it's kind of like... Um, you know, when you have a goal that is like an annual goal, let's say that your goal is to stack a hundred ounces of silver this year and your friends call you up and they say, Hey man, uh, you want to go golfing? You want to go, uh, you want to go to the shooting range? You want to, whatever, something comes up that's going to cost some money. That's going to interfere with your silver stacking plans. And because your goal of 100 ounces, you know, you're saying, ah, I'm going to do this this year. It's so far off, right? And you're like, I've got the whole year to figure this out more than likely you're not going to put that money into silver and you're going to go buy that new iPhone, you're going to get that big cup of coffee at Starbucks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But when you do it the Florida Stacker way, when you're doing 4 or 5 ounces per week, that's where I'm at based on my budget, it holds you more accountable because your goals are actually closer to the deadline. And for me the deadline is 4 to 5 ounces per week, right? So I really look forward to Fridays cuz that's a day that I typically order my silver. But here you go. Number 11 for the tube of 2020 American Silver Eagles. So once we get those nine in the mail from Atmex, once we get them back from Atmex, that is, uh, we will now have, let's go ahead and grab our tubes here. We've got three. These are all 2020s, right? So we'll have our fourth one done. So I'm going to do one more. I'm going to do one more of the 2020s and keep it at 100. And then we're just going to pound hard here on these 2021s. So... Basically, the point I'm trying to get at, guys and girls, is that, yeah, there's there's an advantage, obviously, of going all in, especially if, you know, spot really tanks for a short period of time, and you get uh, get in at a great price, but, um, you know, for guys like me, I like to keep my goals a little closer. I like to do kind of like micro goals. I set weekly, monthly, and 12-week goals, and uh, currently, that's going to be finishing up this tube of 2021 Eagles over the next 12 weeks, as well as this tube of 2020s, which should be done, as mentioned, as soon as we get those nine coins in. And then I'm going to continue to press forward on some fractional gold. Uh, getting a lot of questions about the premiums on fractional gold. And I'm just going to go ahead and I, I try to keep it real on this channel, right? I am i don't have memberships. I'm not charging anyone anything to be here. Um, I don't charge anyone to come to your channel and promote your channel. I don't charge anyone to uh, review your channel, to review anything you send me, to read your mail. I don't, I don't do that. All right, you guys watch my videos. You see the ads. Thank you. The ads do actually pay some money. And in case you guys are wondering, I do about 10 or 12 videos per month. And on average, per month, that YouTube revenue equals around about $200, $250, give or take, okay, in ad revenue that does come back to me. So when someone says, hey man, why are you buying a fractional gold coin and paying that higher premium when you could just save up for four months instead of buying the quarters and get another one ounce? And I do want to buy more one ounce coins and I will, right? I'm, I'm planning on picking up another 2021 Buffalo. I'd like to get a 2021 Britannia in one ounce uh, as well as an Eagle. I've got plans, right? But the point I'm trying to make, guys and girls, is when I bring more frequent unboxings to YouTube, you guys get to see more cool stuff. I get to I get to show you some cool stuff, like who else out there has a quarter ounce 2021 Britannia right now? Not sure, but probably not many people. 
So I get to bring that to the channel. We get to talk about it. And over about a three month period, uh, that video will earn about $20 to $50 in ad revenue. So it totally offsets the premium that I'm paying for these quarter ounce gold coins. That's kind of the way I'm doing it, right? I like to purchase more frequently. Uh, the YouTube ad revenue helps. And um, it really offsets any of the premiums that I'm paying. And then the other thing, too, is that I truly do believe that gold is going to continue to uh, rise in value over time. Obviously, we're going to see some peaks and valleys here, but in general, the trajectory over the long term is going to continue to climb, and I think we know why. We've talked about that. We've beat, we've beat the war drum on that plenty of times. It is the policy of our government, and uh, not to piss any more people off talking politics, so we'll avoid it, but here's the deal. Politics drive this stuff, okay? You know, uh, stop sticking your head in the sand. When dumb things happen in our government, it, it impacts the price of gold and silver. So, you know, not trying to piss a lot of people off, but at the same time, it is what it is. Reality is reality. Facts are facts, okay? So here we go. We got some 2021 Silver Eagles. Our first three for 2021. So obviously, I'd like to get 100 of these this year, plus uh, do a little catching up with my 2020s. So it should be a good year for stacking silver on the American Eagle side of things. Hopefully, uh, you know, we can get these 2021s knocked out uh, fairly early in the year so we can focus on some other stuff like picking up some more Libertads. Obviously, I made a commitment to stack a tube of Krugerrands. That was the coin that was voted in by my community when I asked uh, what should I do after I finish uh, this tube of uh, Silver Britannias right here, right? So once this tube of Silver Britannias is done, uh, what are you guys going to want to see next? And uh, you all said that you wanted to see the Krugerrands. So stay tuned for that. A lot of things happening in the bullion market today, especially on the silver side. Um, if you are looking at potentially trading out of some silver and getting into gold, maybe today's a good time for that. Check out the spot price. Check out the gold to silver ratio. It looks like it's actually coming down based on silver's movement today. Um, look and see if it's right for you. Analyze your own risk. Me personally, uh, I like to keep a little bit more in gold than I do silver. Uh, that's just because I'm long term and I feel like gold stores its value a little bit better than silver. Silver is much more speculative. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be peaky. It's going to spike. It's going to have its day. Um, and so I am accumulating it. Plus, I do believe in the devaluation of the dollar. And I do think that silver is going to help us through that. Plus, I see the obviously the um, industrial applications for silver that are all there, right? A lot of things, especially on the green energy side of things, um, going to see some interesting movements in silver over the next couple of years. That's my opinion. Uh, but I feel like there's a lot out there to back that up. So you guys have a great day. Keep an eye on the markets. Hopefully you can find yourself a deal. Today's probably not the day to buy silver uh, based on these movements in spot price. But um, keep at it, guys and girls. And we'll see you soon on another one. Florida Stacker, signing out.